My name is Scott Lawless. I'm in the neurosurgery section here at Dartmouth, uh, and I specialize in treating uh, complex disorders of the spine. Well, I graduated from Dartmouth uh, as an undergraduate in 1994. Uh, I went on and uh, did medical school at Columbia University in, uh, and graduated in 2003. I spent a total of six years at Dartmouth as a neurosurgery resident uh, and then uh, went to Cleveland Clinic for a year and did a, a one-year fellowship in complex spinal surgery before coming back as a staff surgeon. I first expressed an interest in neurosurgery when I was, I think, about five years old. And I come from a family where there's no physicians, and I had had no contact with uh, uh, neurosurgery, certainly at the age of five. So I'm sure there's some deep-seated psychological reasons that I don't have access to. But um, once I went to medical school and learned a little bit about neurosurgery and had a chance to see some operations, um, what I was attracted to is the fact that neurosurgery is it's a very mechanical uh, field, and it's very technological at the same time. So it appeals to sort of the the do-it-yourselfer or the tinkerer in me, um, and at the same time, we're exposed to and use on a daily basis some amazing uh, 21st century technology. Uh, and this, these types of technologies are often um, uh, introduced in neurosurgery before they find their way into any other medical field. So that's a very exciting um, aspect of neurosurgery. And then the, the, the last, and I think probably the most important uh, attraction of neurosurgery is that success tends to be fairly dramatic. Um, when you do a good job and when a patient has a good outcome, they often go from uh, being very significantly disabled, even at risk of losing their life, uh, and then make a, 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 in many cases, astounding recovery. And to participate in that and to help them in that is obviously uh, extremely rewarding. The neurosurgery section at, at Dartmouth uh, has fellowship trained surgeons and national leaders in virtually every realm of neurosurgery, whether it's brain tumors, epilepsy surgery, uh, vascular neurosurgery, that is the treatment of aneurysms and vascular malformations in the brain uh, and spine, uh, complex spinal surgery, peripheral nerve surgery. Um, we have experts in all of those things, and I think that's uh, a rarity if you look at other neurosurgical uh, departments around the country. Most departments will have a gap or two if you look closely enough and Dartmouth really doesn't and I think that's, uh, that's very important. Well, metastatic disease uh, refers to tumors in the spine that have spread from somewhere else. So uh, lung cancer that has spread to the spine or breast cancer that has spread to the spine. Um, and tumors that do that uh, sometimes will cause compression of the spinal cord or of the roots of the spinal cord, and that can be a cause of significant disability. And so uh, for patients that have those types of compressive problems, in many, many cases, the best thing for them is to have an operation to decompress the spinal cord, decompress the nerve roots before they have radiation. And that represents a change in thinking for many doctors. I think there is definitely a culture that encourages a team-based approach to patient care. Um, I think it stems from uh, a sense of shared purpose here. Uh, I have found that uh, not only among the doctors and the nurses, but also uh, the technologists and even the non-medical staff uh, at Dartmouth, that, that people really take pride in their work and uh, believe genuinely uh, in the shared endeavor that we're all uh, in here. Um, and as a result, I think people work together exceptionally well. People are on the same page. They want, they want what's best for the patient. I think it's essential, uh, particularly in a, a field like neurosurgery, uh, that one be affiliated with a top, top quality medical school uh, and in a place where there's a lot of vibrant research going on. Um, neurosurgery is a very technological uh, uh, realm of medicine and uh, it's important to be at a place where that kind of cutting-edge research is going on um, uh, in order to deliver the best care and, and be as up-to-date as one needs to be. I am involved in research. Um, as a resident I started working with some of the engineers at the Thayer School um, uh, on a uh, project called magnetic resonance elastography and it's uh, basically a type of MRI that allows us to non-invasively assess the mechanical properties of tissue. And it's an area where there have been some applications in terms of breast imaging and in terms of imaging of the liver uh, in people with uh, cirrhosis. Uh, and our group is working on applications of this uh, technology to conditions affecting the brain and the spine. 
I think the care we deliver here is among the very best in the world, uh, and I wouldn't work anywhere uh, where that wasn't the case. Uh, and I think that combined with the, uh, the collegiality and that shared sense of purpose that exists at Dartmouth um, make it really a wonderful place to be a physician.